here I am looking at the uh, screen of my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S. It's confusing because I've got the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 tablet, so it's kind of all over the map. Uh, this here is the uh, keyboard. Now keep in mind, this keyboard comes with the device. So uh, while I can say that this keyboard it feels nice, it, it does the job, it's certainly not like an awesome epic keyboard. It gets you by, um, it feels soft, um, it's comfortable, easy to use. And these type of keys are kind of nice sometimes, nice change from always using a chiclet style over and over again. But it is a little difficult to type on it, quite frankly. I think the trackpad feels a little uh, squishy on the uh, when you click here, but um, as I said, this price point, it's $8.99, basically $900 almost, brand new. I got this uh, open box from Amazon for seven something. And uh, and I got the adapter, which I don't really have with me right now. But anyways, this is the screen. Uh, there are a lot of reviews on this device, so if you're looking for all of the specs on it, I could put a link below, but also just go and Google other videos, because that's not really what this is. Uh, what I'm wanting to do is just simply kind of show you around uh, maybe what I didn't see in a lot of videos. So, um, first of all, I'm in Firefox there. With all of my plugins, I got most of the apps that I typically use installed. Mal Malwarebytes is installed, and the CPU usage right now is obviously very low because this is uh, the Core M processor, so it uh, goes down to zero. I mean, we're talking five, six hundred megahertz uh, when you're not really doing anything. You're not running any intensive tasks. However, what a lot of reviewers have, in my opinion, failed to really focus on is the memory. This device only has 4 gigs of RAM, actually 3.9 gigabytes to be exact, which I think was a mistake on their part. They probably should have just tried to, I mean, at least get up to 4, man. Um, but they probably should have put 6 uh, gigabytes in here, at least. I think 8 would probably be overkill. But the interesting thing is, I really haven't gotten close to, I mean, I haven't seen any problems so far with coming close to that, so I want to clarify. While I theoretically don't like the idea of only having four gigs of RAM, I should RAM, then I guess I shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> but uh, it so far it, it is handling what I throw at it. So um, the big benefit of this device is, of course, it is the uh, Super AMOLED display. Um, it is beautiful. It is vibrant. It is colorful. It is exactly what you're seeing here. Um, I, the, I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 9.6 incher. Uh, that's actually what I'm using to record this. It's all I've got. My cell phone sucks as far as recording videos. And the screen on it is gorgeous. And I remember, I kept thinking to myself, man, I wish this had Windows 10. Because, you know, you're, as you get into Android, you can, you can put a mouse on, a Bluetooth mouse, you can connect it. You know. Anyways, the screen was incredible, and I, and I saw the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S. These names are driving me crazy. And once I saw that it was Windows 10, 120 gigabyte SSD, you know, four gigs of RAM. I wish they could have gotten up to six, but they didn't. Um, so let me cover my fat face up. Um, so anyways, uh, like I said, that's the uh, CPU memory and whether the disk is irrelevant. Um, but as you can see, with just Firefox and Groove Music, or they're really not even doing anything. Actually, I have a Bluetooth set up on my uh, speaker over there. You gotta have Michael Snot. You gotta have him in the background, of course. Um, so if we play music, I may have to turn this down. Well, my song's a little annoying right now. We'll do Bohemian Rhapsody. Is this just fantasy? See, the memory is at 2.5, 64% utilization. The thing is, like I said, I haven't really, uh, I don't think I've had one time where it's been a problem. And um, I have a Bluetooth mouse connected, 
right here. Uh, Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth speakers, so we got some Bluetooth here going on here. I do have a lot of uh, plug-in and add-ons to Firefox, so uh, that could be also using a little more memory. Um, but I don't think hard drive space to me is less of an issue. Fifty gigs free, uh, which is fine. I'm working with it. Um, I have, I usually get it, I build, I mean, I build desktops, but whenever, uh, in my desktop, I have 128 anyway, so it's not really a big video, although I have a three terabyte um, mechanical drive. But, uh, so anyways, I just wanted to kind of show, you know, real world what this, what this looks like, because I don't, I hadn't seen too many people go in and um, show the, oh, I'm trying to find somewhere to hold this. All the time, goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Mama. I don't want to die. Sometimes we shall never be born at all. Well, I'm not doing anything. Photoshop, or 67, 69. So as you can see, memory is the kicker on this thing. All right, I will mute this. I mean, I just can't not sing to Bohemian Rhapsody. It's just not gonna fucking happen. So um, what I'm getting at here is, if you're looking for what what we need to focus on is not what this device is not, but what it is. It is a device that is meant for email, web surfing, light to maybe even moderate productivity. If you're someone who has a lot of things open at the same time, a lot of memory intensive applications that are open at the same time, I do not recommend this device. Uh, there is an Asus laptop, I think it's the, is it the Asus ZenBook 305. That might be a better uh, investment, I think, uh, if you're someone who needs more memory and I think it comes with it comes with a, a 256 gigabyte SSD, 8 gigs of RAM, and it is it has a 1080p screen uh, screen, and then also a uh, 2K display that's touch screen. So uh, you might just Google that one if you're really you know if you know that this is not going to work for you. This is a tablet slash laptop. That's exactly what it is. I can take this off here and hold it like a tablet. It's pretty big, but it works. And uh, so it's just, I'm trying to focus on exactly who this is for, not what it's not. You know, I want it to have six gigs. I wish they could have pushed it, but it would have been more expensive. Um, so it didn't have six gigs. It had four fucking gigs. So that's what it is. That's what it has. Um, and like I said, the keyboard, a lot of people complain about this keyboard. What they don't realize is you know, you're getting it for free. If you don't like it, you can just buy a new keyboard case eventually. I mean, there are a couple out now, and I don't have any idea if they're any good or not, or any better or worse. They're probably going to be probably worse, actually, than even this one. Now, like I said, it's sufficient, and most people are going to do this anyway. They're going to use their mouse. Um, so, anyways, again, this is just a uh, this is just a real world look at what I have seen on my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro whatever it's called, Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S. They, they really got to start changing. Just use, like, names of sea creatures or something. Come up with some something creative. It's really annoying. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, I, I mean, I think Bohemian Rhapsody. Come on, you can't beat that. So, yeah, I'm going to put all the links below if you're interested in learning more about this device. I'm also going to put a link to the other laptop I recommend. Um... If, you, if this is, you need something more powerful, there was a second uh, very light 
laptop that I was looking at that I think would be a good competitor to this in terms of all the specs you're getting. It's Asus. Um, there may be some other, and I, I don't consider Surface Book just because it's so freaking expensive. Um, and quite frankly, I think the Surface Books are kind of ugly. I mean, I don't know. It's just me. I just think they're ugly. I don't think they look that pretty. People act like, oh, they're so high premium. No, they're not. They look like shit. Like this drab, uh, gristly gray exterior. I don't know. I, I toy with a couple of them over at Best Buy. Alright, so anyways, um, again, this is a review of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S. And this is not wanting to do anything. But that right there, I wanted to show you. I don't know why disk utilization right now is at 90%. That's interesting. I don't know why. I hadn't really seen that. But the memory is at 2.5, so it's 64%. Remember, when all the reviews on this, people are focusing on the CPU. But as you can see, it's not the CPU. It's going to be memory. I mean, it's going to be the kicker here. That's what's going to bottleneck. So, anyways, um, good God. I look hideous. We're going to take myself off of there. I got a pillow behind my head because I have a neck problem. <sighs> Alright, so anyways, uh, I'm just going to close this video out. I'm all over the map, but I don't care. That's what I do. I'm all over the map. It's running everything I needed to run. Maybe I'll do an update review in a while. Again, this is a real world video. Oh, I guess I could show the freaking resolution. I don't really care what the resolution is, but it doesn't really mean what it used to mean in the old days. I mean, I was, you could get some high resolution monitors that just that blow. 2160 by 1440. Um, now everything is, as you can see on the previous panel there, everything is enlarged, engorged. So if we go to the full 100%, this is how tiny and insignificant we all are. And how rare and precious. That was from the movie Contact. I am all over the freaking map. You know, if you go to small icons, you can make everything ultra tiny. So that is something that's kind of unique. Um... But you're at this such a high res man, this um, tablet's really having a hard time here. Well, anyways, you get the idea. Um, it is a Core M processor. I don't know. I would tell you the speed, but it's like a, it, it just varies the speed. Okay, there we go. That's what I did wrong. The, uh, it, you know, so obviously it's going from 0 0.5 gigahertz. And I think it goes up to one point something or other, but it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it is. Um, like I said, if you want the specs, this is not really the video for it. Um, and what it is is my video, my camera's trying to focus on something, and I've got a coral reef up here, and it's like, what, what, what do I? Let me do something here. Uh, next, actually, the. Uh, I know this video is a little strange, but that's kind of the way I want it. I want it more real world. I don't want it all fancy and... I know, I know every little thing about this fucking laptop. And I'm going to sit here and pretend to be some sort of fucking expert. Give me a break. But ow. See, any, anything that has color, that, that is where Samsung AMOLED, that's where it just explodes. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my music, and I shall see you guys later. I see a little silhouette of a man's got a boost, got a boost, will you do the fandango? I don't know how to turn this off. Very, very frightening.